Good morning, everyone. Brian here again with BMK Retro Gaming. This morning I have for us the review of the uh, Atari uh, ColecoVision original library game, One-on-One -on -one Basketball. Now, it um, was originally developed by Eric Hammond for the Apple II and published by uh, Electronic Arts. Then, of course, um, the ColecoVision port was developed by Microfun originally and um, released by CBS Electronic. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, released by them, and I think they might have been Electronic Arts involved too, though I'm not sure, in 84. And then mine, uh, I tried to find a Microfun original uh but um, I didn't manage to get a hold of that one for whatever reason. It appears to have gotten lost in the mail or something. So I got uh, CBS Electronics did reproductions. So I have a CBS Electronics reproduction. You see CBS Electronics back in the day, besides distributing the consoles and games in the um, uh, international and, say, PAL region markets, well, uh, after the 1983... Uh, industry market crash for video games and the ColecoVision going under, they bought out the rights to keep on distributing uh, well, what they did was, I forget if it came out of Taiwan or where but a unit called the Dyna came about which could play, uh, it was a hardware clone which could play both ColecoVision games and uh, also Sega SG 1000 games uh, from that third generation console, although that was not widely advertised in the North American markets, probably because it was mostly just released in Japan, Australia, and some trickled out, you know, into more international markets, but they, not officially though. Anyway, so CBS Electronics started to, under the Telegames brand with Sears, I believe it was, um, they started to uh, they got the rights to keep distributing the what was left of consoles and games and the Dyna as a substitute, and so they started making some reproduction cartridges of the original library games. With one-on-one -on -one basketball, this is what the reproduction cartridge from CBS looks like. It says one-on-one -on -one basketball uh, for the ColecoVision video game system on both sides. Uh, it's a little flattened out, I guess you could say. Inside, it does say here, uh, Telegames USA, here on this inner flap, but it's kind of hard to read. And it comes with a little bit of the manual. Uh, here we have the front, and then it takes us over game controls, um, select end of game, winners, losers, outs, player controls, uh, scoring. Then it tells us about some of the ad touches like the player characteristics, fouls, uh, fatigue, which um, eventually you'll have to press one on the keypad to when you have possession of the ball to uh, take a little bit of a um, timeout. Hot streaks. Shattering backboards, which um, I've managed to do that with Larry Bird yet. I've seen, uh, as a computer AI opponent, uh, Dr. J. Julius Irving do it. Then it tells you a little bit about thinking about the offense, you know, from the uh, design sessions. And on the back, it tells you about illegal moves on offense and defense. Which, put together, it's about eight pages worth of a little bit of a reprinted manual. And then, of course, we have our little cartridge here, which is... Um, Uh, even for a reproduction cartridge done back then in the 80s, it's a bit uh, thinned out there. There's nothing more here than it says CBS Electronics and one-on-one. -on -one, and it says one-on-one uh, -on -one up here, though it is a nice labeling cartridge. Anyway, I've talked for about four and a half minutes here, and I don't want to do it for too long. I've got my Collector Vision Phoenix set up, so I'm going to go ahead and toss this in there, and we're going to take a look at some gameplay. Okay, so here we go with the gameplay for ColecoVision Original Library Game One-on-One -on -one Basketball. Give my Phoenix a second to fire up and read it. Here we go. I'll do Parks and Recreations. That's easy mode. Um, 
I'll have the computer be Dr. J because I'm more familiar with Larry Bird. He uh, was still hot back when I was younger, even though I was only barely familiar with him. And um, Dr. J was kind of nearing the end of his career by the time this got released, so I didn't get a chance to... I probably heard of him back then, but wasn't very familiar with him. Press 2 for 2 minutes because we don't want this to run too long. Loser out. Okay. And press the little star button to start. Okay, it's basically your joystick to move and to shoot on offense or to jump for rebound is your left fire button. Whereas it's your right to uh, turn 180 degrees. And on defense, to steal is your right button and to jump for a block shot is left. Oh, and of course you let, uh, press 1 if, when you have possession of the ball if you need a timeout. Larry Bird is still pretty good about it. He can uh, rebound pretty well and um, steals okay, though not, not always 100% effectively. And another thing, he uh, is pretty good at three-point shots. As such... We can see here, it's very nice uh, looking, visually pleasing and all. Uh, there's other moments the way this was done. Though it kind of pretty much uses the ColecoVision's original palette, uh, color palette, to go ahead and uh, render, uh, render them in one color for each player, which is not a bad way to do it really, but um, probably could have been done a bit better. Of course, I'm Larry Bird in yellow, and Dr. J is in um, the kind of more reddish color. I'm going to talk too much because it does take some concentration to actually play effectively on this. Uh, as the computer AI opponent, I've seen Dr. J do it at least a couple times, but um, you can technically uh, do a slam dunk and shatter the backboard, though there's no Qbert uh, Qbert cursing type of uh, janitor who comes out to clean it up. But it's still a pretty cool effect when you see it, so... And then again, Bird can steal the ball from him pretty easy, so. Of course, it depends on if you've got the right angle on him. You can get penalty for reaching in, among others, if you are not careful enough. That's the end of quarter one. I don't think so. Alright, now he's ahead of me. Not for long, though. Make me bust out my Kung Fu, Dr. J. My ball back, fool. I 
actually beaten him by a good deal playing this a few times, but it doesn't always work out quite the way you'd want it to. I put a bit of distance here. Again, uh, with Larry Bird, he's pretty good at making those big old uh, those big three-point shots. Not always, but you can get a few down if you really try. Reaching in my rear, he charged straight at me. I didn't even touch him. Oh, that was on him, not me. I got a little bit of a lead on points here, so why waste it? End of second quarter. Ha! Yeah, you can't ball against me and win. Not easily, anyway. Again, I'm demonstrating here kind of a bit that uh, Larry Bird is pretty good at rebounding, so... Pretty simple game. Again, compared to, like, say, the Atari 7800 port, the graphics may be a lot simpler, but the gameplay elements are still here, so it's still a satisfying game to play. I wouldn't have been disappointed with this if I'd gotten it back in the 80s. Hmm, can't seem to hit from here. For some reason. Well, you better be glad I didn't manage to get that. Ha! Ah. My ball thing. Into third quarter. Also keeps a little bit of track of the shot clock for you, so you don't have to worry about losing track of that. But I 
stole it from him. That's one of the things that's kind of sometimes a little hard to tell with this one. Um, not always clear when you do successfully manage to get a steal on the ball and when you don't, so... It's an easy mode to me, big surprise I'm winning against him, but uh... Less than a minute 15 to go, or about a minute 15. Try to fade away jumper on him, but that didn't work. And he rebounded too. Got him. And that kind of was a fade away, though. I wasn't moving back too much. Shoot, forgot to take it back out. Still had possession, so don't be beat. Still, I haven't figured out how to manage to share the glass on it with a uh, yet, so. Not sure how you really do that. I've, again, I've seen Dr. J pull it off at least a couple times. I guess he's not going to do it while we're playing here, but... Uh... And there's the game. 86 to 60. Not too bad. Anyway, I think you guys have a pretty good idea with the gameplay at this point. Okay, so that was one-on-one -on -one basketball, an original library game for the ColecoVision. Uh, I believe in long form, it's one-on-one uh, -on -one basketball with uh, Dr. Julius Irving and Larry Bird, if I'm not mistaken. Is it pretty good? Oh, yeah. Like I was saying, the Atari 7800 port may be a little bit more graphically pleasing, while this one uses the ColecoVision's color palette to do them in just two colors uh, for the players, but the gameplay is still there, so it's still good. I mean... I'm one of those types, um, the graphics don't have to be super high-end, uh, for me. I can live with it, especially since the gameplay is still in there. So, I'd say, you have a ColecoVision or, say, a Collector Vision Phoenix or something, check it out if you haven't yet. As far as I know, it's not a super uncommon game, but then again, I tried to get one that was an original, uh, micro fun and didn't manage to get it, got lost in the mail or something, I don't know. And then got this one, and those were the only two I saw, so it does seem like it may be a bit less common than some others. So you may have to look, but if you get a chance, check this out. Anyway, I do have a couple of recommendations and links for you guys. One is uh, Kale uh, from my preferred YouTubers. One is ColecoVision Channel, and the other is Ed175, or Ed175. I will leave recommendations and links to both of those for you guys to check them out as well as a link to the Wikipedia article for any who may want uh, care to read up on this game further. Uh, keep your eyes peeled on my feed here on YouTube, on my Facebook and Twitter feeds, for what the uh, upcoming uh, next Sunday's homebrew pro brew or pro prototype review is going to be. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. I've got something in the works. I'm not sure if it will arrive in time or not. On that, may have to just choose one to emulate, so we'll see. But I'll get that post up as soon as that decision comes down. Anyway, um, big shout out to both my uh, Coleco Vision and Adam Fa Fanatics Facebook group and my Coleco Vision World Facebook group 
love you guys over there, and hopefully this will be uh, uploaded and down, uh, ready before too late this morning. In the meantime, if you enjoy this channel's content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And please don't hesitate to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down in the comment section below. You guys take care, have a wonderful Wednesday, and hopefully I will see everybody back here again this coming Sunday.